SBFalcons.com here with head men's soccer coach Mark Collings. Coach, uh, you, an early start to, to the year as you're preparing for a trip to Spain. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's great uh, to be back this early. Um, I mean, it made su our summer quite a bit shorter, but uh, to have a full preseason with the guys is awesome. Um, just gives us an opportunity to maybe not push through so many two-a-days and uh, just have them out and give them, let them ease into things a little bit. And it will also give us a new environment to train in. Um, we're really excited about the opportunity we have to go to Spain and um, we'll get to experience another culture, of course, um, have just some new surroundings for training and have some different opposition as well. Tell us a little bit about the logistics. What day do you leave and how many days will you be gone? Uh, we're leaving August 6th and we return on August 16th. So um, we'll fly uh, from here to Chicago and Chicago to Madrid and we'll uh, take up our post in Madrid and we'll visit some of the surrounding areas as well, as well but our main area will be Madrid. Uh, you play three matches against uh, Spanish clubs. What, uh, what level of soccer are they at today? Yeah, you know, it's going to be great. I think we're really going to be stretched uh, in some of these games, and then we'll have some games that should be similar in competition level to us. But, uh, you know, we, we're really fortunate to have some quality opponents. Um, we'll play uh, a U19 team that's very good, plays in the highest level of the U19 league in Spain, and then we'll play a couple of the reserve teams um, that play like second, third division as well. So it should test us. Uh, it will be a great opportunity for our guys. We actually have four matches. Um, so we'll play two matches in one day, that way everyone there will have a good opportunity to get a good run. Um, and then we'll have two other matches as well. And We're going to get to go see uh, Real Madrid's facilities and see their academies train. And, um, and then we'll take in some pro preseason matches as well. So as far as the soccer goes, we'll get a great experience. But uh, I think the guys are just as excited about seeing Spain itself and all the culture and history that's there. Um, we'll have an opportunity to see a couple of the... Uh, really historic cities there as well and um, I know that there's a lot of different things if you talk to the guys that they're interested in seeing in Spain. Uh, are you aware, has an SBU men's soccer team ever taken a foreign trip before? We've done some research, you know I've been here a fair amount of time now and I know in my time we haven't done anything. Um, there was talk when I was a player here of doing something but that didn't come through and I, I don't think to the best of my knowledge that uh, SBU men's soccer has taken an international trip. Um, so. We're excited, we're hoping this is something that we can repeat every four years um, now that we've started it. And um, of course, without the support and uh, generous giving that we receive from our alumni and donors, we wouldn't be taking this trip. So um, as long as we can keep all of them happy and keep them interested in SPU men's soccer, uh, we're hopeful we can do this uh, every four years. And how did it work out this year that Spain is your destination? Uh, we did give the guys a little bit of input, and obviously with Barcelona and Spain winning a World Cup recently, Spain's kind of the hot place to go. Um, literally, it's going to be hot. They're saying it's in the triple digits, but Spain was a destination. Some of our guys have been to England and uh, Italy were other places we talked about as well, and um, none of our guys had been to Spain, and so we thought it would be a good place. And I can say as a coaching staff, too, that Spain seemed uh, like a great place to go. Well, uh, tell us how many practices will you have here in Seattle and also uh, your freshmen, you have five uh, freshmen coming in, going to get a crash course in SBU soccer, I guess. How is that going to work out? It, we're so fortunate. Uh, NCAA actually just changed the rules this year and so we get to bring the freshmen along with us. Um, and so up until this time, we wouldn't, they wouldn't have been able to attend this trip with us. So um, yeah, we started training last night and then uh, we go today, we'll go tomorrow. Uh, we'll take Sunday off and then we'll train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before we head out to Spain on Thursday. Then while we're there, we're pretty much having a training, one training session or a game each day we're there except for a couple days. And um, So it should be quite a bit of soccer, but like I said, it's going to be spread out. Instead of having you know two-a-day sessions where their bodies get beat up, we'll just have one session and that will really help. It will really give them a, a great taste of what a professional environment's like where it's one training a day and doing some other things. Um, more importantly, I think it's going to give our guys a chance to bond. And when you go get to, you know, you see another, um, you know, country and their community and their culture, that's one thing. But I think to do it with all your your brothers that are the SP men's soccer program makes it even more special. Um, and so I think it'll give all of our freshmen a great opportunity to settle in so that hopefully by the time the season rolls around, we're ready to go. Great. Well, thank you very much, Coach, and have a great trip to Spain. Thank you.